Ciao, buongiorno. Uh, good morning. We'll do it in English in order to uh, get everybody uh, understand. Okay, I'm coming here in representation of the National University of Córdoba. Uh, my name is Agnese Martinelli. I work in uh, the Physical Biomedical Cathedra. Um, some little information uh, before we get into the biomedical engineering. Uh, we are located in Argentina and Córdoba is the yellow uh, province there. Uh, we have a very good location. Córdoba is also working on a cluster which is under formation, let's say. And the National University of Córdoba, which by the way, is a public and free university, has uh, included uh, this career, the biomedical engineer, in the last 10 years, more or less. Well, a bit information of, about Argentina. We have a quite spread uh, net of national universities. As you can see, there are 47 national universities with a good distribution, let's say, all around the country. And uh, I would like to point out this plan, which is an ambitious national plan, which is called uh, Argentina Innovadora 2020, which is basically an investment plan with focus on uh, science, technological development, and innovation in health, of course, among other topics like energetics, etc. About Córdoba, um, let me introduce my province. We are the second largest city uh, in Argentina. Uh, we have the second most antique university as well in South America. The date of foundation was for almost 400 years ago. And uh, as I mentioned before, uh, there is a cluster that is uh, being set by this time which involves at least 70 firms of, in the biomedical sector. And of course, it uh, involves the scientific and technological institution and the medical device um, manufacturers and service providers, all linked by the government assistance, which is, uh, in fact, this cluster that is under formation is an initiative of the government. Uh, regarding my university, I, I got my degree here. It has 88 uh, degree courses, almost 200 postgraduate degree courses, and uh, 2000, uh, 270 international agreements, and more than 100,000 students and teachers, people involved, let's say. Uh, something that is important, we have our own university hospital, and in fact, uh, biomedical engineering is, um, mm, let's say, uh, it involves bo both, both uh, schools, the engineering school and as well the medical school. And 100, a bit more than 100 uh, research centers that are uh, owned by the university. As you can see in the picture, the, the university also has a quite uh, wide campus of their own. I would like to point out this particular lab, which is the hemoderivates plant, which uh, produces, well, it's a fractioning plant that produces several products, uh, derivates from plasma, from human plasma. Um, we also have a tissue plant that also produces bone derivates, but mainly is blood derivates. Uh, it's the second largest in South America. It has a quite big um, production volume, let's say. Regarding the biomedical engineering, um, up to now, we, are, we have 750 students currently. We do work in this hospital and we do some practice in this hospital and also in a net of, of public hospitals in the province. Uh, all of the students do, uh, do have to do, 
to, to, to do an internship, let's say, in, in one of these hospitals before they get the degree. And also we have several labs, one of them are owned and others are shared. And well, we have defined it several uh, strategic areas uh, that we are focused and we like to improve the non-human applications, biomaterials, all, around, all about e-health, clinical engineering, uh, biomedical instrumentation. We have a large uh, lab about biological signal processing, robotics as well, and rehabilitation. This is our contact numbers, emails, and website. And thank you very much for your attention. <laughs>